so yesterday we are discussing about even i forget ha huh, time intelligent functions right i think uh, this is the one which open it yeah we thought of discussing in the ytd qtd mtd but we end up with only ytd function right total ytd i mean to say so let's open the same report so as we had discussed already like uh, ytd values is nothing but year to date value year to date year to date is nothing but whenever year started from that date year always will be starting at the jan first only by default until unless you have the physical year that is a different story that is different story <clears throat> one second okay so same way we have the quarter to date quarter always starting from the depends one is january first second quarter would be april may june based on the month always starting from the jan first february first first of the each day here so then after we discussed about the simple adding the one measure that is called as a total ytd so this is what the expression we have written this is what the expression which we have written the total ytd and uh, i'm taking the sum of sales amount only based on the any one of the date columns here so that already we have discussed and uh, the most important property is mark as a mark as a date table so which table which column you are doing the calculations so that we need to mention it so today we will add two more two more like as i said yesterday like qtd and then mtd then we will discuss couple of more like so right click on this new measure and uh, the total qtd tell me the formula total qtd as you can see total qtd of expression what is expression sum of even sum also is not required you can go for the sales amount also expression anyhow let's take the sum and second let me try giving the table name fact internet sales only ytd only come seems like aggregation is mandatory sum of sales amount and close it comma date column full date alternate key that is what my column name and click on enter button the so same way let's copy this expression right click paste it and mtd mtd functions here also we have a mtd functions okay fine so whenever add all the columns <clears throat> so what i want is like uh, qtd and mtd and we will filter only one year data then we will understand only one year data how do you filter it need to take the slices yes or no slicer calendar year okay this is showing as a there is a drop down list make it as a list and uh, selection control show all is not required and uh, 
disable the single selection okay somehow better compared to previous one let's say if i say 2009 we don't have data 8765 so then ignore this and all we have 10 no 11 yes we have it 10 also we know we don't have it so let's take an example only one year data so this is month level granularity as of now i told yesterday what is granularity which level we are taking data into the report now let's take the day level what is the column name full data alternate key right date column so that is a full data alternate key this is not required it's it's going for the hierarchy full data alternate key and areas and then drag and drop it is creating the hierarchy take the column into after month now you will get as a 365 records because for one year we have 365 days right and also let me take 2012 data as well 2012 data if you want to see the descending order you can try this one now listen carefully still i have not discussed anything i'm just setting up the environment to understand better now taking a border this one let's export to csv now export data uh, where is going make it as a desktop we have half an hour will i be able to convert one video okay so now go to desktop there is a file got data try to open so now it's very easy to understand i'm just enabling the border okay so these are like a columns so i'm just adding the filters also if anyone has any doubts excel file you just ignore how i'm doing this formatting and all is not required at all not so if you see how many years of data we have it 2011 12 same like a power bi desktop and here also how many quarters we have means two years data we have right totally how many quarters data i have it eight quarters and uh, here also we have the <clears throat> 12 months data and uh, this one you can see here two years data we supposed to have if you select this one see this one 723 <coughs> 365 365 almost showing as a two years data <clears throat> so that is not our job that is not our job we need to understand the better what is ytd values what is the total qtd total mtd value so listen carefully as i told yesterday the mtd is nothing but whenever year starting january 1st to till date okay so these are like if you see these are like if you see one month data so whenever the month starting whatever the value we have it the same value will be displayed as a first row okay and second row i, I told you very clearly yesterday the sum of first two row would be like 14 plus 17 sorry 14 plus 13 is nothing but approximately 27 maybe the points will come into add so 28 will be coming here 28,000 dollars something will be coming here which is correct 28 plus 15 43 if you have any doubts you can calculate and that's the reason i'm exporting for example select this two the sum will be displayed on the bottom 28408 is it matching here yes or no this one for example select this first five and whatever the total coming it should suppose to match with the 162 684 see now 162 684 so this sum will be keep on going 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 
until December 31st because this is a year two data whenever year starting till date it will be keep on adding adding that is what about the year to date the quarter to date this also the same functionality only because quarter also might be starting from the january 1st for example let me give different color let me give uh, like uh, what is the color so different color i'm giving now let's go to the april 1st april 1st also you can give the different color okay and let me freeze the columns the first row uh, view freeze paints top row now columns are visible now now see see if i got about ytd ytd will be keep on adding 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 only but when our total qtd till now for example till now if you see the sum here five one two double four i think why it is showing like this i'm sorry this one i'm showing as a different column it has breaks that's right one second now see till the sum i selected already and one two seven six is supposed to match with this value i see this only this value please see this only this value one two the bottom one two seven six zero double three the hundred percent these two values are matching because the q2d is nothing but start from the january first keep on adding 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 it will be display as a sum of the accumulated values until quarter ends when the quarter will be ending march 31st any questions or not whenever new quarter starts for example april 1st so again the same value will be taking care the first value would be same right listen carefully listen carefully the first value would be <clears throat> again taking now now the seven seven thousand plus twenty two seven thousand means showing as a twenty nine thousand same way this keep on adding 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 until quarter starts sorry quarter ends same way if you go for the month wise when the month will be starting when the month will be ending month maximum 30 days or 28 days or 31 days so it will keep on adding the values until jan 31st until jan 31st so the you can see now after jan 31st the february 1st will be coming the what are the value we have at 15,000 the same value will come and display here I'm stopping here like a pause button anyone has any questions on three if you're not able to understand let me know I will repeat once again it is like a cumulative cumulative values here that's it so it depends on you your analysis happens on see now when do you go for these functions means whenever you want to know like a current year data 2018 unfortunately we don't have data in the 2018 the database if you have the database 2018 you will understand for example for example let's say uh, you are in the like uh, where is the month uh, april may june we are in the june month right approximately june 20 this is where we are there uh, 21st today 21st today here we are there so what you can do you can see here this is for yesterday's value this is for today's value so if you want to know what is the total sum then you can look at this column simply yes or no till now what is the you got it this much but what is only for today what is yesterday he simply he is getting three four values around right so you can see the numbers and you can take a decision so i mean analysis like whatever he want. and also you can predict okay tomorrow we may get this much amount something like this if you're getting average like fifty thousand, tomorrow also more or less right fifty thousand or 45 or 46 something like this okay so some people what will happen quarterly basis they can release the revenues for example take an it companies every quarter maybe infosys survey pro whatever maybe they were announcing quarterly wise revenues i got this much amount because they're calculating based on the total qtd only they will look for only last quarter this quarter compared to last quarter i got three percent 
compared to last month this month i got three percent margin something like this this all depends on how their analysis so i hope no more questions if you have anything let me know well this physical year will be calculated january to december no by default january to december yes to based on company and all some company physical year will be october november in case we need to do we need to do those changes how to do then we need to set the when your date should start by default january to december whatever the calculated whatever the time dimension i populated here for example this time dimension it has been populated and uh, what are the column we are using it is a for example if you see here this is the column i'm using yes or no so this is normal jan to december and there is a relevant columns here physical quarter physical year physical semester same way we need to derive one more column here physical physical dates physical dates that supposed to start from the march 1st as by indian calendar so that column we need to derive it derive it we have to force it that column into here we need to force it that column into and uh, where i have to say so here instead of going for the here you might be having one more date column here physical date column that column you need to force it or else bala already i have a set up everything now i don't want to change this table definition then we have a predefined functions also i think uh, dates ytd something will be there okay I, i will explain you the function also available okay going forward maybe tomorrow okay. yeah. even calendar auto also we can use it i don't know how many of you observed there is a, a like physical month end let me showcase so go to the model new table okay so like uh, physical date okay let's say assume that my mind should be always start from the april first because as india we follow financially it should be april to march 31st right so now tell me my date should be starting from april first can i use calendar not calendar i think calendar auto physical year when do you want to end it i'm just making as a three now listen carefully now go to the new table what are the new table physical date now see this one by default starting from the april first it is not going beyond april first for example let's order by descending order when is ending March 31st. You able to understand, Bharat? Yeah, yeah. It starts from April. By default, what are the month you are telling? That month will be ended. Ended means in India we are ending with the March. Yeah. So the reason I given is a three. If you see the parameters clearly taking. Parameter clearly taking. physical year when do you want to end it written a table with one column dates calculated from the model automatically model in the sense like uh, in your all the tables what are the minimum date and maximum date will be considered here okay yeah perfect so so the next functions are the next functions are there are many functions there are many functions let me take set of functions for example there are uh, we have a closing balances first we will go with the opening balance opening balance month there are three functions in this oh i done something okay 
so opening balance of the QA quarter opening balance of the year same way yeah closing if you understand only one function remaining five functions will be easy if you're not understanding one function everything will be gone hmm can you start now anyone tell me what is the opening balance opening opening first of all opening month simple we'll go with a simple example for example pocket money for example pocket money let's say yesterday your dad given like a thousand rupee for the pocket money if you are rich kid you will get even ten thousand also that is different story so uh, i'm repeating yesterday your dad given thousand rupee for the pocket money for maybe sorry yes bye first day of the month so so like this assume that we have a january 1st january 2nd 3rd and so on so 31st maybe you are getting thousand rupee again maybe after four days you got like 500 rupees maybe after so doesn't matter you are spending that amount or not you are keeping or not end of 31st your dad doesn't know that how much you have it but you are taking from your dad if you're spending everything when you go to february 1st okay as in that he given only 100 rupee in the february 1st your opening balance would be only 100 only i'm repeating february 1st your dad got given only 100 rupee to you but unfortunately it is not a opening balance unfortunately it is not a we cannot call this as a opening balance of the month because opening is nothing but you should go to previous day previous day 31st december uh, i'm sorry 31st january whatever you have after spending end of the day whatever you have in your hand let's say you spent everything you have zero rupees so then your opening balance will be zero even though you have 100 rupees in your hand that is not a opening balance opening balance always would be end of previous month whatever the amount you have it january 31st that amount will be considering as an opening balance let's say you saved in this 500 rupees here also 200 rupees still you have 1000 rupees but again your dad is giving 100 so your opening balance would be no 1000 rupees 1000 rupees your opening balance plus this 100 this 100 will only be added going forward only but initial February 1st, the opening balance should be whatever left in the previous month. Same way, whatever you left in the previous quarter, whatever you left in the previous year, that will be considered as a opening balances. We will see practically, then we will come back and we will understand the closing balances. Okay. Go here. So, anyhow, we don't have much option. We need to add the rectic new measures so m underscore opening balance month equal to opening balance month as you can see simple straightforward expression what is the dates expression would be sum of sales amount comma full date alternate decay i think we need to close the bracket full date alternate decay that's it okay so i don't want to waste the time copying this one new measures and this one Cut. Okay. We'll have one more.
balance year and this one okay perfect now go here so select this visual i don't want mtd qtd ytd instead of that one i'm adding as an opening balance what is this month so now scroll down scroll down it's common because the previous year previous month it will be coming like this so now export data as i told you is the for example underscore openings opening balance so selected borders and go for the filter anyone has any questions let me know perfect so now as i told you opening of the balance of the that particular month what is the current month now january what i told you usually opening balance would be end of the previous month do we have the 2010 data here because in my slicer i have selected only 11 and 12 only so obviously you won't be getting the 10 data that's why if you see the first month it should be blank only empty only only january month only just scroll down see now until january 31st until january 31st we have a blank because it will look for the previous month we don't have the previous month december 2010 data that's why showing as a empty here now when it comes to the jan i mean february 1st what is the definition the opening balance of the month always would be <coughs> ending of the previous month right now look at the only yellow color look at the only yellow color you will understand <coughs> <coughs> so is it matching or not because february first month even though i have 15000 rupees in my hand that won't be considered as a opening balance opening would be whatever you ending in the previous month that's it to be simple same way if you come to march first look at the only yellow colors okay so i think we are not freezing the columns go to view freeze and top rows so now see this one the opening balance of the march sorry february first would be ending of the jan here same way opening balance of the march would be end of the february something like this so that is what about the opening balance of the month if you understand this one the same replica for example quarter we don't have the previous so first three quarters sorry first three months would be blank come so february until until march 31st you won't be having any data you won't be having any data now look at the only yellow colors see don't look this column this is the opening balance of the month you will be in trouble so now look at this one whenever the quarter is ending march 31st what are the value he has that value considered as a quarter TV. same way year everything will be there until 2012 comes sorry fairly we don't have it only three levels month quarter and year that is the 12 12 12 12 this one so this is if you see here 2012 january and here only we are getting the we are getting the opening balance of the year because at the year of end december 31st was whatever he has a value that value considered as a opening balance of the January. So, okay, if you understand this one, then closing balance would be nothing. Closing balance would be nothing. Can anyone guess what is the closing balance of the month? For example, 
let's assume that go to the top okay now let's say this is a january month can you please tell me what is the opening instead of opening what is the closing month balance of month here look at the values and tell me if you understand the opening here i'm repeating the opening is nothing but close of previous month then what about the closed for this month for example february what is the closing balance Are you started a month with 38,000 but how much you are ending with the month then where should I go should be end right go to the February and what is the end of the month I end up with 17,000 so can I say this value would be the whole this February as the closing balance of the month perfect let's don't get confused we'll see practically so i'm just going next one is the closing balance of the month and quarter and year so m underscore closing balance month equal to closing balance of the month sum of sales amount close it come out full date alternative key close it copying this one enter it new measure So I made it three one. So let's remove the opening to better visibility. Take it as a closing balances here. Okay. I'm not exporting into CSV file because you understand already. I will showcase from here only. Okay. So even you can minimize this. So now look at this one. The first value would be one second it is not scrolling up <laughs> yeah yeah i'm sorry it's january first only january first only here so now is clearly indicating that maybe we don't have sales for a couple of days ignore this one okay and uh, what is the closing balance of the month is always keep in mind look at the current month okay look at the current month go to the 31st for example jan 31st what are the value we have it what is the value 38 thousand 21 29 is the value sir appearing here or not from here towards all the values the current month current month closing balance is nothing but go to that month end of the day 31st january pick the value and that value will be displayed whole month now same way go to the february month february february month and take end of the month what is the value 17 something is there that value will be considered as a that whole february month that would be the closing value of that particular month only the each month level that will be the scenario now same way quarter means go to the march 31st go to the march 31st what are the value we have it 25 268 from here you could see the all the value will be 25 if you want i will showcase for example let's scroll a little bit up look at from here to top okay i'm scrolling up a little bit is the values are changing i'm sorry it's a month I mean, 
I'm extremely sorry. Look at the quarter column, please. Where it is ending? This one. This is the 31st actually, 31st March. What are the value we have it? Look at the same value into quarter also. From here, it's value changing. Look at the top only. Look at the top only. From till now, last three months, the same value has to be reflect. Look at this one 25,684. Sorry, 568. See, it is not changing. Until three months, the same value would be there. That's why if you see the year, you will be having the only one value only throughout 2011. Throughout 2011, it will be only one value only. That value would be considered as a go to December 31st, 2011. Pick the value and display. So that is what about the closing balances and opening balances. So if anyone has any questions, let me know. No questions. The next one is before understanding the other concept maybe uh, there are many lots of functions available urgent basis we need to discuss uh, two more functions okay that would be that would be is very 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 important you need to know what is the calculate function and what is the filter function what is the calculate and filter these two comes under filter category only Remember in time intelligence still we need to discuss minimum at least another 10 functions So I will come back tomorrow Because rest all will be depending on the calculate function or filter functions Okay, so you need you need to know so to be simple these two are to be simple these two are One second To be simple these two are filter functions for example, let's say, let's say I'm adding a, one second, I'm adding new measure, okay. So till now, you guys know, it may be a sum of sales amount or minimum of the sales amount or, or average also you discussed and count also we discussed. Let's say, let's say there are scenario okay i want sum only i want to take the sum of sales amount only but it has to be the sum only for only for let's say canada and australia this is what my recommend see very simple you guys know very expertise now right so if you want to get, take the sum Instantly you guys will be doing correct or not the sum of Sales sum of sir is done Sir is done if you go to here, let's say I'm taking one more visual oh, Where is that one this one measure we will take the order quantity because I still remember the value how much order quantity will be Exactly order quantity will be we are supposed to get the 60,000 something. So if you go for the. Yes, yes. See now. If you go for the sales amount, then I again, I get to recall it. What is the value and. Uh, I where is the auto value and this are the 60,398. 60,398. Let me format properly because you need to understand one more thing also let me take the multi row card what is the use of multi row card who knows sir you have said long back almost month back but now you are asking the question so this value we can split into country basis also unfortunately we don't have country we have to go with the yearly basis only yearly basis and don't summarize so this one also will consider as a yearly basis and uh, data labels make it as this one okay fine okay i don't know what is this category 
so very simple yeah so total we got as a 60,000 that total is nothing in the year of 2013 itself I got it this much correct or not 14 I got this many orders 12 I got this many orders and 11 I got this many orders if you take the total total you can see 51 plus 3 54 plus 3 57 59 something and 60 so let me take a slicer now let me take a one slicer take the calendar year make it as a see if you don't understanding the requirement then you won't be understanding the calculate and this one this kind this much experience is not required to be harnessed but i'm just giving okay enable this one and enable the single select option also so don't think that i'm wasting the time there is a reason behind this one okay so wherever possible try to give the borders it will attract the like fine so now if you see here let's say 2013 i have this much the both the values are matching or not okay something something same thing what i'm going to do i'm going to add a new measure or let's modify the same measure that is the measure let's modify new measure not this table go to the fact table new measure like m underscore like uh, total orders 2013 2013 year data something like this underscore 2013 don't give the 13 under in the measure name just for understanding i'm giving okay so now what i want is i want to get the what i want is i want to get the sum of order quantity only this will find but where should i add the i need to say somewhere i need to say i need to say somewhere was filter only for 13 data yes or no so that is not possible in some function even if you if you feel like a sum x also okay so now let's see this one we have been telling or uh, i have been telling like we can go for the sum x to get the expression what is the table name fact table comma so what is the expression sum of again sum is not required order uh, quantity yeah order quantity and close it but this is also let me copy this one add one more are you guys following or not let me add this measure new measure total orders or is the total orders this one okay okay just drag and drop now is exactly matching exactly matching because there is no separate formula here also we are simply taking the sum of order quantity only and even measure also we are taking the sum of order quantity only. doesn't matter you are taking sum x or sum you are doing the same operation only okay till now till now already you understand the card multi row card slicer and then what is the sum and sum x just i am repeating that's it don't get confused till now whatever we discuss everything we have discussed already i'm just giving the overview just giving the overview now the actual scenario would be let's say as i told you we need to apply the filter criteria we need to apply the filter criteria means as i told you we can use a calculate function to take the sum of sales amount let's remove this one we don't have the country column like a 2012 data or 2013 data so i am going to filter 2013 data then what you need to do select this one 2013 measure remove everything we need to start from the calculate function calculate what is it you're trying to do expression sum of order quantity order sorry order quantity and close it there is a there is a filter criteria clearly observe here syntax there is a 
filter criteria and comma what do you want to do sorry huh what is what is what is next step which column calendar year correct or not so calendar year equal to 2013 that's it they close it now you might be thinking is working fine or not 13 the values are matching if you select 2012 will it get the value or zero see right now i select 2013 that's why same filter applicable for multi row card card and card everywhere everywhere is selecting the measure sum of is fine but in this measure 2013 i'm clearly hard coding for only 13 data only it has only it has only 13 data only if you apply the 13 filter value is showing let's say if you apply the 12 filter will i get the value here no for example uncheck this one everything is coming this is the total value is how much 60000 why it's showing as only 51000 it is matching with the this value matching with the, this value because 13 value because we are hard coding at the measure level we are hard coding at the measure level here let's say 14 let's say 14 now see you have only 13 years data doesn't matter what are the filter you are selecting it will show as the static value only store as a static value only always this would contain the 13 year data 13 year data anyone has any questions what is a calculate function when do you go for the calculate whenever you want to filter the data we can go for the calculate function keep in mind at it's very 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 important at measure level or column level the whatever the number showing in the screen it is affecting only the one measure called this measure only we are not disturbing any other measures even table level we are not affecting just only this measure only i am not impacting any other my model without doing the any model level changes i'm just adding a one measure which contains only 13 data sorry yeah why not why not you know the already syntax use and condition here use and condition you discuss already logical functions yes or no try and let me know tomorrow we need to use and if you know the and syntax this is very easy nothing you got the question guys he wants to know along with the 13 can we add 2014 also like a sum of two years 13 plus 14 13 plus 14 i am telling just use the and function here add one more but you should know the syntax of the and function try and let me know uh, remind me tomorrow when i start in the class we'll discuss on this one so before closing i will finish this function filter also today itself okay to be simple this is also used to filter data at model level sorry at table level as i told you right this is at a used to filter data at column level column or only one measure only is affecting just now we have seen that one now same thing like let's say let's say you will first i will make the duplicate table how do you take the duplicate table for example dim data i want to make one more copy right click duplicate it so rename this one underscore like underscore like a backup table now if you want to apply the filter on this table let's say this table should contain only 13 data how do you know how do you do it whatever known method we need to come here look for the calendar year column select everything like load more values also unselect everything 13 data click on ok button and close and apply so now select this from this table calendar year you will understand only 13 data is available only 
13 data will be available but uh, let's change it to this one so this is at the model level you're doing i mean uh, table level based known method go to eight queries add a one more table and then filter it that is a one method if anybody ask you can we create a one new table using dax functions which has some filter criteria then we need to use a filter criteria filter function here now go to the model same example i'm going to show you create a new table the table name also i'm using dim date underscore 2013 using dax something my understanding i'm giving like this equal to as i told you filter it okay what is the table name dim date what is the filter expression calendar year equal to 2013 same that's it very simple you don't need to go to eight queries also you just go here we would have taken one more table here now see now four tables are there select our table we should be having 13 data just scroll down you could be able to see this one for example it's supposed to have the only one year data see so today we have seen the what is the calculate and filter tomorrow completely we are going to see how we are going to use these two filters within our within your time intelligence functions so i'm stopping here tomorrow tomorrow dax will be completed 98 percent i could say okay that two percent why i'm pending that is all depends on your interest your practice okay still we have hundreds of functions i mean to say okay if you cover all the functions you will be here another one month of time so it doesn't mean that i'm not covering all the topics here so whatever real time we use i'm just trying to give the 100 percent whatever we use it some little bit functions will be there like similar to ytd similar to ytd we have a dates ytd as well like uh, if you go and check in the browser i will take a minute before closing uh, time intelligence yeah yeah so this all done okay and uh, we have done apart from that total ytd total functions also we have done for example last three and first three also done okay and uh, start of the month start of the quarter start of the year it is not completed but uh, we completed as a opening balance we completed okay there are three which is relevant that is called as you know Mm, let me find out yeah, exactly so dates mtd dates mqtd dates ytd so i'm not going to cover tomorrow this one but uh, you guys has to tell me it will give the 100 percent same results whatever you have done ytd qtd mtd you can achieve using dates ytd and uh, dates what is the next one QTD and uh, dates MTD. So whatever we do here also can be achievable. There might be a slight difference. Can you please anyone tell me no tomorrow? If you're not taking as seriously, then you will not expect as in the DAX expressions. So tomorrow's homework could be try to understand first practice this tree and then try to replace wherever YTD is there. Replace this function. Let's see. Whether you're getting the same result or not if the same result are getting then how these three are different from the these three functions Okay Okay, then I think I given one more example also as a homework Try and let me know I'm closing now. Thank you all. Bye. Bye Anyone has any questions